I have a special YouTuber joining me to talk about three money-saving tips. Hey everybody, this is Paul the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having a great day and enjoying your fish. If this is your first time over to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I would love for you guys to join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Also, if you could like this video, that would be amazing. So today, I have a special YouTuber joining me to talk about three money saving tips. Three of them. These helped this Aquarius out on their journey and wanted to share that with everybody. So, in the description below, I have a link to the channel. Without further ado, Anthony at Unconventional Aquatics. Let's go, man. What are the three money-saving tips? Ooh, what a rainy day. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Anthony from Unconventional Aquatics. Paul, it's really funny that you bring up this topic on money-saving things. I was just down at my two local fish stores, and, you know, I always hear people kind of muttering under their breath how they never realized how expensive a lot of this stuff was. But, you know, as we know, there's a lot of ways to save money. What has probably saved me the most money, probably in the hobby overall, is building my own stands. Now, there's all different kinds of stands you can build. You can build basic stuff like this over here. Excuse the wiry mess, guys. This, this tanks are actually, they're in the process of getting moved. But a simple stand, same thing over here, just holds it up off the ground. Or you can build something more pleasing to the eye, like this right here, for not a lot of money. Manufactured aquarium stands, guys, are freaking expensive. Quite honestly, I'm not a huge advocate of them unless they actually come with the aquarium and they're in good shape because a lot of those cheap particle board stands, as soon as they get wet, they start swelling. That can knock your stand off level, off square, putting stress on seams and your aquarium blowing out. But DIY stands are actually super, super simple to make and extremely cost effective, guys. It cost me $35 to build this stand and canopy for this aquarium, $35, simple. And just some time on my own to put it together. But a stand like this, if I was to go buy something like this, you're talking hundreds of dollars. So DIY guys, Paul, I know you're a big advocate of DIY. I know a lot of us love DIY because there's just a satisfaction that comes with knowing that you made it. Which leads me on to my next one. And guys, if you're scared of DIY, do some research, do some practice. It's really not hard. You would be surprised at what you can make. Just make sure it is perfectly level, perfectly square. And and if it's not, utilize some foam. Maybe utilize some foam anyways, just to be on the safe side. But the second thing is filter media. You can see this Lava Rock hardscape back here. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I love Lava Rock and I use only Lava Rock as biological media in my filters and even inside my tanks. It serves the same purpose inside an aquarium as it does inside of a filter. So my number two, everybody, Lava Rock. Lava Rock has saved me so much money. I pack my filters in tanks if I can, depending on the fish that are in the aquarium, you know, and when it comes to saving money, I always want to make sure that I'm not sacrificing fish health or anything like that just to save a few dollars. But for instance, like Lava Rock guys, I've been using Lava Rock my entire hobby and that's all I use. Biological media saves you a ton of money. There is some other options, grow stones and stuff like that that are also great too. Lava Rock, my number two biggest money saver. All right, guys, and in my third and final biggest money saver, we're gonna look at this 125 gallon Peacock and Hap grow out tank that is right in front of me that I have saved a lot of money on. Now I've saved money on the lighting on this aquarium, lots of money, as you can see, cheap lighting, you don't need nothing crazy. But what I've saved the most money on, the life supports for this aquarium. That's right, guys. We're talking about the Sun Sun canister filters. Guys, as I progressed in the hobby and I was ready to get into canister filters, I knew that I was going to get into Sun Suns. You know, I always told myself, I'll move on to, you know, the good stuff, the Fluvals and the Eheims when that time comes. But over, over time, I realized I didn't really need to spend the money on those expensive canister filters. Here we go. Here's another little Sun Sun that runs this aquarium here. Sun Suns have pr proved to be a huge money saver for me. 
and they're reliable. You know, let's be real with it. With anything, everything has its flaws. You know, Sun Sun's the O-ring. Paul, I know you had some O-ring issues before with your Sun Sun filters. The, the replacement parts are, are fairly inexpensive. The filters itself are fairly inexpensive and they're great for all levels of where you're at in this hobby. I love them. I will always run Sun Suns. They're a really good bang for the buck perform very well sun sun on that on that uh, 60 gallon tank in there is over five years old never replaced a part in that filter runs non-stop so guys that's my three biggest money savers hope you enjoyed the video paul you're the man thanks for giving me the spot on your channel i greatly appreciate it and i hope you guys are doing well i'll see you around anthony i want to say thank you so much for joining me on the channel to talk about those and share your three tips with my viewers and again, everybody, make sure you head on over to Anthony's channel and subscribe. Um, he's got lots of good stuff over there. You guys are going to definitely want to subscribe. So if you could comment down below, what do you think of the three tips? What are three tips you might have that saved a lot of money for you in the hobby? And again, so if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell to join me on my fish keeping adventures, that would be awesome. Thank you, everybody, and stay tanked.